Captain's Log Supplemental. Hey, Jeremy, you know, uh, you know those race cars you're you're busy building. Yeah, I do. I got one that I'm looking at every day. You know what? Uh, I don't see you working on. You don't see me working on the amazing Sentinel system yet. That's true. It would take all of ten minutes for you to have one, and it's very quick and easy to install. It is. It is, and we could watch you when we are not at the race with you. And see how you're doing. And then we can call you up when you get out of the car and tell you everything you did wrong. And and I love that because so many years I've been driving and not been able to see what I'm doing. I know. And now we can. I know. You know what I'd like to do with the, the video? The, my most favorite thing is I take the video and I load it on YouTube. And then I send it to my coach and say, look at 26 minutes and 17 seconds. Look at this one lap and tell me what I can do better. And every single time, you know what they say? Everything. Exactly. Precisely. So with the Sentinel system, you get instantaneous feedback plus useful feedback that unfortunately is accurate for my driving. I think it's accurate for all of our driving. Mm, pretty much. Yeah, that's probably true. Yep. But you need to get one in your car, sir. Yes, I do. And with the discount code that you're going to tell everybody, they can save 10%. On mm -hmm. this awesome system. Yep. Trouble free. I haven't had an issue getting video every time we've gone out with the Sentinel. It's always worked. Can't say the same for some of the other systems we've tried. So I don't know. It's on the podcast notes down there. Don't do not do it while you're driving, though. We like to have our listeners live. It's good. From the great halls of their house, there are assembled three who hope to one day be the world's greatest driving heroes. Created from the cosmic legends of the universe comes our team captain, the Vision, Bill Fisher. And their soon-to-be Wonder Woman, Vicki Fisher. And our Captain Marvel and head flight trainee, Jennifer Scripchuk. Their mission, to fight injustice share what is right and wrong to get you out of your house and come out racing with them and serve all mankind. They are the Garage Heroes in Training Team. Welcome to the Garage Heroes in Training Podcast. I'm going to be one of the hosts for this episode. My name is Bill. Wow. I'll be Beatty voicing back again. Anyway, uh, who else is hosting? I'm Vicky. You know, we have a guest, Miss Vicky, but we might as well say we have another host. Who else is hosting? Uh, that guy, that guy right Nick, there. Me? Is Nick it Nick? I, I'm, I'm a host now. now. You're a host uh -huh. now. I've been promoted to host. Well, you're on so often, you know, what the hell? Unbelievable. Okay. That's, that's right. That's the benchmark for you're a on, podcast. Uh, you're, on, I'm a host. Wow. You're, on the, you're on the payroll. You get the oh, same wow. amount as everybody Amazing. else. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just like you're racing, man. You're a professional race driver. Now you're a professional podcast oh, host. You make I the same it. amount for both. That's I fun. like it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Oh, started off properly. <laughs> Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, yeah. This, this is where the money comes from. That's right. There it is. There's got, how do, you, how do you get a small fortune? You start with a bigger one. That's right. Um, so we were talking and, and we were going to have, you know, traditionally when we go to the track, we have a, a post race or a post HPD or whatever. When we hit the track, we always have a post race episode. And Ms. Vicky and I were looking at it going, hmm, well, if we have a post-race episode of, of my exploits, it would accomplish uh, one and a half laps and uh, lots of skid marks around the parking lot. So we need to augment this. So instead of having a separate Bill, how did you screw up your weekend podcast that would last about six minutes, we thought we'd have somebody on who actually had a good weekend. So... When I was thinking of people who had a good weekend, I think Nick Barbado. Nick, where were we? Well, where were we? Where, where were we? Where did where we, was where was the royal we that weekend? Because Miss Vicky ditched uh, us. You noticed that uh, she ditched us. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, it, it it was good. Um, uh, it was nice to be joined by by yourself, of course, uh, for the moral support and other. But um, yeah, no, it, it was an awesome weekend. Uh, I think I still ended up 
P9 overall, but um, just looking at raw pace and, you know, I think where I could have put the car in qualifying, maybe like a, a four or five and throughout the weekend, you know, like a real strong apples to apples comparison, you know, top five, maybe even could have snaked a podium or something um, like an overall podium on like legit pace. So very, very happy. Awesome weekend. Epic comeback. You had yeah, uh, literally you had tied your your shoes together for the first uh a couple trips onto the track which is you know for a grid life weekend that pit race it's it's kind of important to to do the qualifying thing and if you don't do the qualifying thing exactly right you kind of pay the piper the entire weekend and then if you don't get it fixed in the first race you've really started with uh you know not not where you wish to be but i think that was kind of your your weekend in a nutshell a abs absolutely so uh just for those listening at home so what happened was uh and this is this is the short version, but ran the car at the test day and I brought basically five session tires, but they were shaved tires. So I got them shaved by tire act on the 530 seconds and they were super sticky, super fast. I actually ran uh, for those that paid attention to Lime Rock. I actually managed a 57.9 on those tires at Lime Rock Park in legit grid life touring cup trim. The problem is, is pit race is very abrasive. I didn't recognize that because I've only ran fresh tires there. I know the circuit, but so basically I was doing like high 55s in, at the test day. And then they fell off a quick, pretty quickly, including a cord, like literally two tires down to the cords in practice. So I found some old crap tires, swapped them around. I mean, it's like a P20 or P21 in quality and then slowly worked my way back up to an ultimate P4 in the final race uh, and it had strong pace. Like I said, you know, like equal to or better than most of the top guys. So overall, awesome. Stoked. So Miss Vicky. And some rain battles. <laughs> and some rain. And some rain. Yeah. I, uh, so Miss Vicky. Mm -hmm. Pit race is one of your favorites. It is one of my favorites. It is. And uh, Nick, Nick went there without you. I can't believe that. that was How many times you've been on that track? This is my third race weekend there. Yeah, I did. So basically, I did a test day for NASA last year. I did then the NASA championships and then this weekend. Sounds like he needs some more time on pit race. But we'll get to that later. We'll get to that later. <laughs> I, I think you might be right. Might be, might be getting there. So uh, part of this was we were shaking. To, well, part of the reason I went was I originally wasn't going to go because it's a national championship event and you know me being me i'm overly nice on the track not not on the podcast but just on the track so i don't want to screw up anybody's national championship hopes and dreams so i originally wasn't going to go and then adam started giving me junk about not going and then scott started giving me junk about not going and give me the the eye roll thing so i was like all right fine and then a ticket came up and it was for hpde and i was like hpde what, what, what could we do with an hpde we could test our car Mm -hmm. Get it ready for an upcoming Lucky Dog event, which is coming up in, where are we at, three days? Something like that. So we made the decision, hey, let's go do this. Miss Vicky had other other plans going on, so uh, family responsibilities, and we all know I'm irresponsible. Um, but, you know, it's just how I roll. So we go, and I bring the car, and I'm like, Nick's going. I find out Nick was going like a couple days before. Jeremy's like, you know, Nick's there. And I'm like, oh, Awesome. So that was great. So I was like, ideally, here's the plan. I'll go test the car in HPDE. We'll make sure Nick fits. We'll make sure everything's good. Maybe Nick will have time and he'll go out there and he'll tell me, Pill, your car is good, except it turns like a turtle or whatever it turns like, whatever. <laughs> so that was the plan. That was the whole plan. We weren't going to compete. We were just going to go out there and bang out lap, lap after lap after lap after lap after. Well, maybe it was just lap after lap because that was when I came in because my car was not happy. My car was no happy. It was a stressful weekend, sir. The amount of stress for two laps is just ridiculous. So, good news. There are tens of skid marks all around the uh, pit race uh, parking lot, which I asked permission to do. I, I, I said, hey, I need to test this. And occasionally I was driving around without my doors on. So I, I had that didn't look very good. Did it driving around without my doors? Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. It's all good. Who, who needs doors? I got the I got the cheap version of an E46. It's fine. <laughs> and uh it turns out that my math sensor, math sensor, 
Math so or map, yes, either. Yes, either one. Was Kerplui. Okay, fixed it. Life is good. By the way, advanced auto math math sensors or map sensor, whatever. Not good for BMW. They fit. No, sir. But they don't run. So the resultant issue I had was the car, whenever I would lift off the gas, the car would just like lose idle and chug out. So anyway. Nick, the car is fixed for that issue. Then we had the ABS issue. For some reason, my rear tires were locking up and the car has ABS and the DSC button, the, the dynamic stability control, mm -hmm. would not turn off and the ABS light was on. So something was wrong. So what does the mechanical ineptitude known as Bill Fisher do when his mechanical savant, Miss Vicky's not there? I start walking around the paddock looking for anybody who knows what's going on. I find out Nick's there. I find out Dewey's there. I find out all these people run BMW anti-lock braking systems. And we proceed to fix everything that's really, really complicated to fix. Anything that was hard to do, we did all that. And then we came home for a week and a half and we did it again. And I, I broke out the patented Bill Fisher parts cannon. And we have two steering wheel angle sensors. We have two sets, not two, two sets, each four wheels, twice, wheel speed sensors. We have a backup ABS module. We have all the parts cannon you could come up with. And it turns out, Miss Vicky. It was the uh, speed sensor of the wheels and the, the amount of distance on one of them mm -hmm. was... Mm -hmm had worked its way loose, I suppose. The gap was, the gap was yeah. too biggage. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. Nick, two question, two part question. A, how dumb were we not to have found this? And B, how does the wheel speed sensor work for the home game players, just in case they're not on a BMW as, and I think it's almost every car, but anyway, Nick, how yeah, dumb? no, you how are dumb? not dumb how at all dumb. that's a very easy thing to, to miss they can back out you know things vibrate there's any number of reasons so you know it's all good um and i i believe right they work on basically like the, the hall yep. sensor concept right uh mm -hmm. it's uh a, a ring the ring is attached to the axle or somewhere in the hub assembly that's spinning and then the sensor is reading that ring and there's look the little ring there's little holes um and so you're getting an idea of RPM and how fast they're spinning by the rate by which it sees those holes flying by. That's it. And that all, that all feeds back into the ABS system. I, I have the older, not as good, you know, stock E36 system. I don't have the much more fancy E46 oh, yeah. system. That, obviously, the much more fancy did me so much good. But, much more, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, um, still, they, they work in the same basic concept. So no, all, all good. So if Nick, I'm going to need you, to, uh, we're doing cosplay here. Nick, I need you to dress up as an ABS system. Okay, Nick, Nick, that's okay. a, oh, very nice. Very nice. You're an ABS system. Okay. If you're an ABS system and three of your wheels have uh, indications that they are spinning and one of them is not spinning, how happy are you dressed as an ABS system? I'm, I, I'm, I'm not going to be too much of a happy camper. No, I'm, I'm, I'm probably just going to shut the whole system down and say, nope, I am not ABSing anymore. Yeah. Yeah, no, we yeah. definitely dropped the A and went to straight BSing. <laughs> so it was, that's right. It was God that was killing me. So no, <laughs> no stress on the Fisher household. So that is our entire weekend at Grid Life. Now, Nick, you had, I think you had qualifying and first race on Friday. Um, on the it, O uh, Actually, it was unusual because I. They did the they did actually three races Saturday. So race one, two, three Saturday, and then the final race Sunday morning. So ah. the yeah, so so the Friday we did a uh, practice. Uh, it might, might have been two practices and then a so. quality race one was first thing Saturday morning. Okay. So you did qualifying on the old kind of let's call them heat cycled out tires. And then you did the first race, I think, on the heat cycled out tires. I did, I did, but had so, freshies on for race two. So how did it feel to be peg leg Pete out there for that first race when you're, you're, you well, know, you know, you don't got it. Yeah. Well, you know, it was just all about damage control. Now I will have to say, um, I did actually swap tires around from qualifying to practice where basically 
I put the little bit better tires on the uh, left side and right front and put like the crappiest tire on the right rear, which was the tire that was getting the least pressure. So mm -hmm. the, least, the least pressure increase. So I knew it was getting utilized the least. And that actually made it quite a bit better. I wasn't so hamstrung. I, I Okay. felt like I had like not terrible pace. and was actually still able to move up a bit just by making image control environment executed successfully. I, I still moved up. I think I, I gained one position, maybe. Yeah, and Um, that I think I finished thing. P20 or 19. Yeah, it was somewhere around Yeah. there. Yeah, because Yeah. it didn't look like it didn't look like your normal you in your E36 M3, but it didn't look like you were just sitting there saying, come on by. So it looked Yeah. like you could at least, you know, dance a little bit. So. Yeah, I, I, I was able to Fernando Alonso them and make Mm. sure I placed the car appropriately so that Mm -hmm. the overtaking was not a straightforward affair. Very, very nice. So you, you made your car <laughs> twice as wide. I get it. That's That's fine. right. That's right. So do you remember times for that first race? Do you remember? I, um, if I had to guess, it was like 59 something, high 58, Mm-hmm. uh, you know, maybe a, a 59. It, it, I might have dipped into a high 57, nine, like on a single lap, but no, that, that, That was really it, which was a, a you know a, a solid two plus seconds off where the car was capable of. And Yeah, and in that field, two plus seconds is forever. an eternity. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then you get you got your new your new shoes. I came by. You jumped in the car. You had like New thirty shoes. seconds. New shoes. Fancy new Kumo shoes. That's right. So got your new shoes. How how did they do? They they dropped you almost at two seconds or not quite. You know, absolutely, the raw pace was restored, perhaps even better, actually. Um, I never got a completely unencumbered lap. Yeah, So, it was racing. you know, they're right. So, yeah, there was no way to tell exactly. But for sure, um, a solid two second for sure. The car speed was the um, balance and the grip level was restored. And I was able to go forward and attack basically everybody. Uh, it, it was awesome. And want to give a shout out to Race Protocol, the shop right down the road from Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pitt. Uh, I believe his name is Doug. Hooked Mm hmm me up, got the tires turned around super fast. Also, Tyler from Thai Speed Automotive was able to talk to some folks and get him like next day Saturday morning over from me from the from the shop in Delaware or something. So a lot of folks came together to help get me a fresh set of tires. Thank you to all involved. But yeah, uh, it was awesome, and we were able to attack. was awesome. So you did get to slide into the seat of the uh, soon-to-be shared vehicle. Mm hmm Are you? Uh, I I think Miss Vicky, and this is this is between me and you because Nick doesn't listen. Um, I think he was expecting a, a, a truly a, a lemons type experience, and I, I believe I believe we have we Really? have uh, You didn't we have expect that card, Nick? no. no. No, no. Um, you know, uh, I, I somehow with the talk and, you know, we, you know, one of the first chats we ever had as a group here was like with the lemons racing and I, you know, I wasn't sure. I mean, I looked into Lucky Dog. There's some nice cars. I, you know, wasn't really sure what to expect. You know, perhaps I was keeping the the expectations on the semi low, but I saw a, a beautiful E46. I probably like a a spec 46 type of build, maybe. Pretty close, yeah. Yeah, pretty close. Um, very nice cage, nice interior. You know, nice paint. You know, like you know, way way nicer than my E36. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, but yeah. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, it clean, you know, lot, lots of nice parts on it and obviously very well maintained and based on the specs, I think it's going to be very quick. this, oh, I okay. we have been spending uh, a couple years straightening this out. And it's not, it, it's because of, that's not the level of racing that we've been doing. So it's been spotty to get it out there. And of course, you know, obligations and stuff. And, and we keep running into things. So actually, this will be its first true race. Big boy Wow. race. This That's will, exciting. this will be its So. first big boy race that it's finally, you know, got all the kinks worked out. All Well, right. So well, let's I will let's be a not part promise of like that. the, oh, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Crossing fingers. well, yeah, so this is almost like the real like maiden voyage, if you will. Exactly. So Exactly. oh, very cool. So I guess we've, we've beaten this bush enough. We might as well say, Nick, where were you going to be this weekend? I'm going to be at, at pit race, hopefully kicking some serious butt with the garage heroes and training team and That's looking right. forward to flying around that badass E46 you got.
That's right. So, so again, how far away are you from pit race? Um, with, with no traffic, it's a little under eight hours. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm confident if I'm going by myself in the Ram 1500 flying across I-80, I could probably make it in seven and a half, you know, no trailer. Yeah. That's We're right. about five out. Okay. Yeah. 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 Not, not, not too bad. Not too bad. So you, you know what? It's going to be a gorgeous drive. It is. I, I, I love it. I, I do. I, I it's like a Zen moment, especially in the fall. You know, mm -hmm. you you're you're carving through the, the New York, Pennsylvania mountains, the the fall, the, the 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 change of color. It's it's beautiful. It's a total like relaxation moment for me. Put on a little yacht rock radio on Sirius XM, you know. I think I think he yeah. just mispronounced Garage Heroes and Training Podcast, but the, you know, whatever. <laughs> whatever. That's yeah, fine. I, had, I need to catch up on some podcasts. That's I right. had just drove drove out to uh pit area to go pick up our donor car for the Honda. And it was stunning coming back through there because they had us on top the 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 travel took us on top of the mountains and down into the valleys at the same time. Wow. It was amazing. Um so I'm really looking forward to the drive out. For sure. As long as it doesn't get windy or rainy, we'll be fine. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if the, if the forecast holds, at least like what it's looking like for Connecticut, it's going to be a beautiful next. Yeah, week. yeah. Awesome. I went from I went from concerns about it being too cold to concerns about it being too hot. We started talking yeah. about putting in the cool suit. I was like, should we bring it <laughs> just in case? I mean, they're talking <laughs> eighty. And and you know this. I think this, we'll be fine though. This body I mean, is not used to eighty anymore. Eighty was a couple months ago. This is not eighty time, but <laughs> it's okay. So, Miss Barbado, you're a. Uh, everyone knows how we love pit race, but but what's the exciting part about pit race for you? Oh man, well I would say it's two things. First of all. Shout out to the owners. I've not I've not met them, but you know I know in the somewhat recent past they bought the track, renovated it. I think we talked about this in a prior podcast. I believe it used to mm -hmm. be called Beaver Run. Yep. Um, what they've done with the track and the facilities is amazing. It's beautiful. All new payment for the paddock. The facilities are new and clean. There's gas. There's a, a pro shop. You know, nice bathrooms with showers. Nice garages. There's a beautiful spectator area. Getting in and out is nice. It's just a fantastic area. Just the the track and the surrounding area. It's it's fantastic. I I love going there. It's definitely one of my favorite tracks that I I go to now, which is why I was so enthusiastic about doing the GLTC race and now the Lucky Dog race with you guys. So that's number one. Don't don't the forget they have a, they have a great uh, go kart track too. They do, which which I haven't driven on yet. We um, can fix that this weekend, sir. Let let's fix that. Let's, we're gonna have a we're that. gonna have an inter team, and this is I'll put this one out early. So any teams interested, we're gonna have a team versus team go kart for pride. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Let let's do it. All right, I'm gonna have to go really really low on the calories, you know, that to get myself as light as possible. You I've, know, I've, so, okay. I've got full ballast. I'm covered. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> right up, right up. Um, yeah. Okay. So anyway, so yeah, the the facilities are fantastic, um, and and the track is awesome. Um, almost like a you know like a combo, like a VIR with a high speed straight with a little bit of lime rockish elevation change, but but with some low speed corners and mm -hmm. some technical driving and this super badass, almost like like. You know, obviously it's faster than autocross speed, but almost like an autocrossy slalom, but with some blind over crest stuff in the middle. Just just a really challenging track, a very difficult track to get right, a difficult track to learn, a lot of re of reward for risk taking mm -hmm. and for car placement. Um, yeah, just 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 a ton of fun, and you have to manage your tires too because it is a, a, you know as they say, let's use F one terms. It's it's a high dag track. It's a high tire dag track ask me how i know um yep. so you know you you cannot let's say drive indiscriminately and blow up your tires and grind them down you have to be smart so it it, it rewards smooth driving and a good setup just 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 a fan and a and and a great racing track as well you know not the easiest place to overtake but there are some good spots to make overtaking moves and have good battles um it's, it's just a fantastic place to go I, I would put it on the bucket list for anyone in the area yeah we we like 
we like it probably it's it's usually our top track whenever we're thinking about things there's some other ones in the top five or hour somewhere around there but the thing that i like is it's not only a good hbd lapping day but it's a good racing track it is it is there there's places to make moves there there's room um you know it's it's not like the widest track but no, but there not. are like the way the layout is it allows you to make some breaking moves side by side stuff you can set up passes if you're in a more of like a lower power or a, a racing series that could use a benefit from a slip stream there is a effective slip down the back stretch and the front stretch where you could mm -hmm. if you're uh, with a car of similar performance to get in the toe and set up a braking move yes it, it does race well you know not not like a novice easy passing track no. but a, but a place where you can make passes yeah yeah it's 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 not uh a parade lap at high speed it's no, there's it's some, there's some stuff you can move so so miss vicky mm -hmm. what do we have going on for you this weekend are you coming i am coming Excellent. I am coming right now. I still, I'm going to throw a couple more e tracks in the uh, trailer, the car trailer, and see about bringing the Vespa, which will be fun to kind of kick around with. Um, no passing us while you're in the Vespa and we're in the race car. Yeah. 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 So we're, we're, we're still sorting some stuff out and getting some packing and cooking and, um, like I said, we're we're Jennifer and I decided to take a back seat and we're going to kind of pamper the teams a little bit and uh, make sure everybody has what they need and, and uh, end up a little spoiled. Plus, we're going to hot pit, um, which would be fun. So kind of take some weight off the guys so they can rest. I think we have an abbreviated team this time around. I think we only have three drivers. So, you know, kind of we're just going to be support. We're going in support. We need a break from from the the actual race part of it, and uh, would like to do paddock instead, paddock and garage instead. We have support. We have support. Yep, support and great food. <laughs> I, I'm I'm looking forward to that. I have <laughs> Irish soups and flavored whiskey stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. So uh but yeah we have an RV and uh we got the one this time around where everybody has a proper bed. Now sometimes you get the bunkhouse and the bunkhouse like the beds are kind of abbreviated kind of for smaller people. But um this one everybody has like a proper bed to to sleep in. So even if you know your significant other comes you actually have a double bed to share which would be nice. It oh, yeah. decides to come. Um, but yeah, we were talking about hot apple cider in the evening I was mentioning. And then, you know, matching that up with some like ginger uh, whiskey or ginger bourbon or, you know, some kind of flavored alcohol mm -hmm. to kind of throw in there. Um, some nice beers, a little tabletop fire pit, which would be kind of nice to kind of hang out with. It's supposed to be beautiful, like gorgeous. Mornings will be cold. Or chilly, but I think during the day it's going to be wonderful. So I'm, I'm looking for it. Um, I, I may have to bring my my favorite bourbon as well, which I'll make a as a charitable donation to yeah. the GHIT team. So yeah, there we go. Right. yeah, yes, all right. Like there we I go. Said, I think what we were going to do is paddock share with two other teams, and I think we were actually thinking about potlucking with them. We'll see. So, we got some friends going and you know kathy and the group yep. are awesome so yeah they're very fun people so um and of course this weekend that we're going i think saturday night at the lucky dog event they are planning a barbecue and they are planning a halloween party so costumes are recommended if you can get to that point there nick yeah, yeah. So the so the race suits don't count as costumes. I don't think they do. Uh, uh, usually they do, I but not at a racetrack. Optional, though. But I think that they're kind of going to go all in. It's very optional. All right, all right. I'll I'll have to I'll have to I'll yeah. have to work with them. We okay. have a right. freaking ton of costumes here already, but you know I'm actually kind of looking to see if there's anything that's really kind of funny to put out there also. Right. I have I have a a, a post podcast idea that we need to talk about when we hang up. Okay. So. Um. So Nick, we've got a seven hour with qualifying prior Saturday, and then an eight hour on Sunday. Any preferences on our lineup? Since there's only three of us, it's really not that hard to do. Yeah. 
you know, um, I, I've seen it. I've seen it work both ways. Uh, you go more aggressive at the start or the end. There's different philosophies. I, I don't know that it really matters. Um, you know, uh, I mean, I would love to go out and, and quality if, 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 you know, if, if there's a quality and it matters, like it's going to actually set your grid position for sure. You know, it does. Um, let's, I, I will happily volunteer myself for that. Well, you, you, you and Ben, I think they have a two person qualification. So you and Ben will be the qualification people. Awesome. Awesome. So, so yeah, let's, let's go do that. Um, I don't know how, I mean, uh, I'm just drawing on like lemons and other enduro experience. I mean, you could try to go for the, if you're more aggressive, you have a driver, you want to be more aggressive in the, in the first stint because it's a track position thing, then maybe you do that. But, or if you put in the more aggressive or, or, or a bit quicker driver at the end where there's more open track and you make time with more open track. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's, it's two different a lot of philosophies. Well, I, I believe that's you. They're only going 60 max. And I'd, okay. I'd be su I'd be surprised if they they finished that. So um, okay. it's their first ever Northeast. So I'm thinking okay. it's going to be thirty to forty. Hoping for more is my All guess. Right. So I don't oh. think spacing is going to be too much. Uh, okay. There's a there is a five minute pit stop window, so we don't have to kill ourselves during pit stops. You anything shorter than five minutes, you get held at the end. And I think it's a two hour max. So I'm not sure if you, uh, it much matters for you, but you know, two hours is pretty simple for us. So it's not, I'm, I'm good. No, no. I think my, uh, longest was like three hours and, and 30 something minutes in a lemons car. Um, and the car was like shooting fumes into my, in my head. Yeah. I was able to survive. I'm good. Yep. Okay. Good to go. Otherwise, um, there's a couple things with the car being, up and down and up and down that we'll probably need to just tag on while we get there. Cause I have to finish putting in the safety, uh, uh, window net. Cause we're not a window net kind of, kind of racing team, but it's required. So we have that. And, um, then the other stuff is optional. That's the only thing that we have to do. And then, uh, I think I have to mount a transponder, but that's just two zip ties. That's easy. So otherwise we're in good shape. Awesome. Should be fun. We'll Looking be running to it. We will definitely be running an AIM system. We may have the Smarty Cam, and then we may have the Sentinel. It just depends on how far I get into my electronic bag and how much time I have and uh, how much everything else goes. But we, we look like we'll be doing okay. So you will meet the Ben Dawson yeah. of Dominate with Dawson fame. Miss Vicky and I will meet what him for the second time. <laughs> I lose everybody. Come. Oh, I'm sorry. There we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, oh, sorry, I, I paused there because uh, your Bill, your audio cut out for a second. But um, yeah. No. Uh, look, look, look forward to meeting Ben. I was just going to ask you, um, what do you think your thoughts are on how fast the GHIT E46 will be compared to like some of the other cars in the, so in the if, series? If I were to guess, it's got nothing done to the engine. Only things that were done were safety related and uh, endurance related. So. I'm guessing with you and or Ben, it's going to be right at that two minute, maybe at slowest 202, at fastest 158, I'm thinking two minute. Mm -hmm. And I'm probably going to be a second or two behind you guys is my guess. Okay. But it doesn't matter. We're going to, we're going to do what we have to do. I do have to tell you, I got the tire size wrong. I was off by 10, so 10 millimeters wider. Oh, 10 is a wider. Two, wider. 275? Yeah. Wow, yonks. That that's that's awesome. We got that's some awesome. So, got so 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 how do like what what's the average lucky dog car? Is it like in the you know 2900 220 horsepower range or Yeah. Because yeah. okay. it's endurance yeah. racing you probably want to have 2 215 um endurance timing. So you don't want to take more pit stops than you have to. So usually it, yeah. it's self-selecting. If you have a car that's much, much faster, it goes through the gas and then it stops much more and more okay. often. So, okay. so we should be competitive. I think we're probably going to be middle to middle high. It's okay. hard to say because this is their first Northeast race. So I don't know who's coming, but uh, traditionally I would think we would be in the middle, middle high on this car. So we should be good. Awesome. It'll be fun. Yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. And, I'm looking uh, forward to it. It'll be a great time. Yeah. So, 
Uh, let's see, what else do we have going? Is there anything else I'm missing? That's pretty much it for the for the warm up for how we're doing. I think that's it for the warm up. All right. Uh, there is likelihood that if uh, car performance allows, meaning it not be broken, uh, we may do uh, podcasts and get them out while we're there and uh, do some live stuff and maybe interview some people and have some good times. So, you know, mm -hmm. it'll be a good yeah. time. And then uh, if we don't get totally sloshed by Vicky Stew, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> it'll be fine. It'll all be good. It's always good. Uh, when are you coming, Nick? Are you coming Friday for practice or are you coming Thursday night? Are you coming Saturday, Friday during the day? Yeah, it's it's my intention to get there like Thursday evening so okay. we can get rocking on Friday because I think the Friday test session is around noon time. Like mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah, uh, so. yeah, that's when they start. So we, we've got that all paid for. So that's good. So I'd like to get you in the car. Uh, we're bringing alignment, uh, scales, uh, quick jacks um full tools so we should be able to do anything that we need to do at the track and for lucky dog what they do is you set up you have your own assigned pit stall so you bring all your stuff down to pit lane nice. so so that'll be easy uh we do need to pack another tent Vic, i forgot to put that in the car for the tent? a tent for pit lane oh okay yeah okay okay so we're still refining, but the car is packed and loaded. Most everything else is packed and loaded. The spares are there. I think we've got a decent set of spares. We don't have uh, what I would call a normal Bill Fisher. Oh, my God, why do you have everything known to man? Why is, why is there literally a dealership inside your car? <laughs> um, but I'll work on that with time. But uh, I think we have all the stuff that should break if it's you know BMW specific braking wise. So. Uh, otherwise, Nick, I can't wait to uh, race with you, and hopefully the car will perform. And uh, all I'm hoping for is that we all have a good time and at least get out there and uh, go roundy round much better than I did at Grid Life. <laughs> oh man! Oh no! I I think for sure it's uh, it's it's going to be awesome. No matter what happens, it's going to be a blast. We'll do some good things. We'll move the car forward, maybe uh, with the setup too, and uh, maybe learn a couple things and have a great time and enjoy Miss Vicky's food and drink. Okay, so it's you have. You've got one one to do, Nick. Both Miss Vicky and I I'm ready. are asking for the attendance of one lovely Miss Amy, even if it's only Saturday. That would be great. I, you know what? I've, I've even gone so far as to say I will like fly you out to pit and pick you up at the airport or something like that. Um, I'm not going to give up and I'm going to let them know. This is like the fourth or fifth time you've asked her to come, you know. On the podcast alone, so I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna heavily push. How about how about this? We we threaten her. Either she comes to the race or she has to come on the podcast as a guest. Oh, you? okay, yes, that <laughs> that works well. I, I'm I'm writing that down. Yes, as soon as we get off, straight downstairs. Oh yeah, very well. That's All right, awesome, awesome. So test and tune opens twelve to four for Friday. Okay, so we should have everything. Good to go Thursday night and have a nice easy morning Saturday, uh, Friday. So that'll be easy. Awesome. Should be a good time, sir. Hoping, uh, you know, it's racing. So never know what goes on. But yeah. I believe we have solved all the all known problems have been washed off the surface. And we may come up and find some new ones. But that's part of racing. You find the next week spot. So there, there, there's some wood off camera here. I'm knocking on just so you're aware. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I just yeah. hit my head. It makes the same <laughs> hollow sound. So it's good. <laughs> Miss Vicky, you and Miss Jen yeah. got everything under control. We got everything under control right now. We're thinking Halloween. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, uh, with that, we're going to call this a short little podcast and uh, just hang on everybody. Cause we've got a uh, potential uh, plan for uh, said racing. So Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Vicky.